Hello everyone, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix the problem of missing device driver during Windows 7 installation. So here I have my bootable USB flash stick with Windows 7 installation file stored in it. I will plug in the USB stick and power on the PC. And when the first logo screen appears, I press the escape key and the F9 to boot to the USB. Now this may vary depending on your PC manufacturer and model. Normally the next window I would see is the window asking the drive where I want to install my windows. But instead, I see this window here, which says a required CD stroke DVD drive device driver is missing. If you have a driver floppy disk, CD, DVD or USB flash drive, please insert it now. Now the primary reason for this error is that the USB controller chip on this laptop is not recognized by Windows 7. So even though we are able to boot into the USB, Windows 7 is unable to reach or access the computer hard disk because the USB lacks the required drivers. This problem is actually unique to Windows 7. If you try a similar installation process on the same PC with Windows 10, also from a USB stick, you won't encounter this error. Also, if you have the option of installing using a Windows 7 DVD, then you should get past this error. But what if you don't have an optical drive? Then this solution could come in really handy. The idea here is to install the required USB driver in order to enable Windows 7 gain access to the PC hard drive and proceed with the installation process. Here I've simplified the driver installation process into two basic steps. They are quite easy to follow and requires almost no technical skills. So let's get to the process. So first, I assume you already have a bootable USB with Windows 7 installation files, otherwise you wouldn't be having this error in the first place. So I won't go into details of creating bootable USB disk or copying your Windows 7 installation files to the USB. The first step is to download the Gigabytes Windows 7 USB installation tool. And to do that, you open your browser and search Utility Support Gigabyte. Now click on the first result from the search. It should take you to this gigabyte utility support page and here you should leave the utility option as motherboard then scroll down to where it says um, windows usb installation tool and click on your preferred region actually it doesn't matter which region you click the installation file is just about 28 megabyte so it should download pretty fast i will also provide a download link in the description section below this is an official tool from Gigabyte, so this link should be available on a long run. But if for any reason you can't access the link, just post in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible to provide an alternative download link. So now we have the installation tool downloaded. Let's move on to the second step, which is the actual installation of the USB driver. To do that, you insert your bootable USB with Windows 7 installation. Then go to the folder where you have saved your downloaded file. Mine is in my downloads folder. I will move this file to the desktop for convenience. Now extract the zipped folder by simply right clicking and selecting extract all. Then choose wherever you want to extract to and wait for the extraction to complete. After the extraction, you should have a folder named Windows Image Tool. Open the folder, you should see the Windows Image Tool application. Launch by double clicking and click yes to allow the app to run. Now here I should mention that the Gigabyte Windows USB installation tool is not a disk writing application like Rufus or Windows Media Creation Tool. It only modifies your Windows 7 installation files by embedding the required USB driver to it. So you don't have to worry about the files you have saved on your USB device. The Windows image tool will not override or delete your files. So here you should leave the source path as non-add USB drivers. Then in the destination path, select the USB that contains your Windows 7 installation files. Then here they add USB drivers to an offline Windows 7 image is selected by default. So now you also have to select the Add NVMe Drivers option to an offline Windows 7 image as well. And automatically the Add Packages to an offline Windows 7 is also selected. 
So you should have all three options checked. Then click on start to begin the installation process. Now this will take a while in any case, possibly 15 minutes or more. However, with a faster USB, there could be some time saving on the process, but not so much. The good thing about it is that you only need to install the USB driver once and you can use it for multiple installations across different chipsets. So you don't have to repeat the process for each installation. So here I will fast forward this part of the video. So here we go. The installation is complete. Now we are going to try the Windows 7 installation again using the same USB stick. So I plug it in once again and boot to the USB. Hit next and then install now. And here is the normal Windows asking the drive where we want to install our Windows. Now from here the installation should proceed smoothly as supposed with no more errors. And that completes the session. If you have any questions regarding the procedure in this video, please post in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Give this video a like if you found it useful, share with anyone you think might find it useful as well and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.